Yo, what is up guys, it's Pedro here, and the Wizards just drafted Denny Avdia with the ninth overall pick in the draft. I absolutely love this pick for the Washington Wizards. He's listed as a small forward, but he can really play a lot of different positions. He's about 6'9", 6 foot 9, 600, uh, 6 foot 10, about 215 pounds, did play at Israel, but a lot of people compare him to, you know, Luka Doncic just because he played overseas. I'm not sure if I compare him to that, but I think he's going to be a great player in this league. We'll go over some of his strengths and his weaknesses, but I really think this is a great fit for Washington because, you know, he has positional versatility. So that's great for Washington because, you know, Rui Hachimura, he can also play small forward and power forward. It really depends on what they do with Davis Bertans. Um, that's going to be very interesting because Denny can play small forward, power forward, even guard sometimes depending on the lineup. So we'll see if they do re-sign Davis Bertans. I think they're going to try to, but I absolutely love this pick. A lot of people are saying this guy could be one of the steals of the draft. He did play over the in Europe. I'll pull up um, his stats in a little bit, but again, I really like this pick. Um, they drafted him with the ninth overall pick. They actually, it looks like they're going to have a lot of options and you know, the Knicks were there um, at eight and I was really thinking you either draft whoever they don't draft out of these two, Denny Avdia and Obi Top. And I, like I said, guys, I really like this pick and a lot of people were projecting him top, you know, three, top four. He was the number one small forward in this draft. I'll read you know, some of his strengths and then weaknesses so you guys can see. So he's big enough to play power forward, like I said, but has the ball handling, creativity, and playmaking skill of, of a point guard. He also does, guys, have some, he's a decent defender, and that's going to be really good for Washington because our defense is not good at all. Um, he's, They said, at his best, operating out of pick and roll where he displays excellent timing and vision, allowing him to make every read and pass in the book aggressive offensive player who is in attack mode every time he steps onto the floor loves shoot, shooting pull up threes and transition brings toughness competitiveness and swagger i love that i we got to get some more competitive players in washington you know he might be a player that can you know contribute right away we'll see we'll see what the transition is from you know playing in europe and you know, internationally in israel to playing in the nba but you saw how luka Doncic. Um, how he played. He was rookie of the year in his first year. He played absolutely amazing. And, you know, that's partly because he was playing in the pros for a while. And I think Danny Avdi has over a hundred career pro games. So that's going to help him out a lot. So let's go through some um, of his other strengths was learning how to play without the ball of the season in a more compact role at the pro level. Elite cutter, thanks to a strong field of, uh, for the game. Um, improve. Oh no! One more thing. He has made some strides on defense. Covers ground well and plays with real intensity. Intensity getting over screens. So again, he's a decent defender, and you know he's kind of he's got a decent perimeter shot. He is big too, and he can finish at the rim. If you see some of his highlights, he is a big guy, and he can dunk over guys. He can post with some people, and um, yeah, we'll see. Some of his improvement areas, inconsistent shooter who just converted just 32% of three-pointers and 58% of free throws. So that is something that he has to work on. But like I said, he's going to get better at those kind of things. And, you know, Luca had some of these same worries coming out of, you know, coming into the draft. So I really think this is a good um, draft pick. Let's go post-draft an, uh, analysis. Considered a candidate to be picked as early as four, Avdia falling to nine was one of the big surprise of draft night. It is an outcome his camp who only allowed select teams access to him, including Washington and, and especially the Wizards, will be thrilled with. A big guard with outstanding versatility on both ends of the floor. Um, he is polished and experienced player who should be ready to step in and make an immediate impact for Washington. So yeah, I think the biggest thing with Denny is his positional versatility. He's going to be able to guard most positions because of his size, but also his quickness. And he's also going to be able to really be on the court whenever he can play with all these different lineups because he can guard different positions. And that's the great thing about him. So Wizards fans and all fans in general, I know some Bulls fans really wanted him. What do you guys think about Denny? 
Avdia and do you guys think it was a great pick? I would give this pick an A just because, you know, it fits a need for Washington and he was projected to be a top four player and we got him at nine. So again, really like that pick. I want to hear what you guys have to say. Here are some of his stats um, from overseas. And remember, he's barely playing any minutes in these games and Luka Doncic um, when he was playing also you know, his stats weren't great. And I think this was in a tournament, so it wasn't even his stats, but his per 36 stats averaged about 21. So yeah, thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. And yeah, Wizards content, not going to be happening too much around here, mostly Washington football, but with some occasional Wizards content sprinkled in.